I made a video a little while ago talking about Pokemon uh, Booster Box to PSA 10 Chase Card uh, correlations. We had a little graphic like this, and a few guys were asking for Elite Trainer Boxes. So here we go. We're going to dive into this. I'm going to explain it um, right off the bat here. So these are the last nine uh, specialty sets that only have Elite Trainer Boxes. There is no Booster Box for it. Um, so we have the set name over here. We have the release date here. Uh, we're going back like five years to 2019, uh, all the way up to the latest um, specialty set um, that has been released as of this recording. Shroud and Fable is not out, and it would be too early to include that anyways. So we're going to start off with Hidden Fates. Um, this is color-coded um, with green being the best and red being the worst, and uh, you guys can see it adds up to a point total at the end. Um, so uh, seeing if this shows any sort of investability or collectability aspect uh, ranking of these sets. So uh, we're just going to start off with Hidden Fates. Currently, this is the most expensive box on the list at $173. Bucks. Um, for reference, these ETB prices are pulled um, as of this recording from TCG Player, and the PSA 10 uh, sale prices are the last sold on eBay. So, uh, Jesse, Jesse and James being one of the most affordable in a 10 at 70 bucks um, is obviously in the green, but the boxes are very expensive. Um, you know, kind of not really very good set there. Um, this one I would probably just, it's a 7 overall. Um, you can see the ratio here. So this is the interesting, um, this is the number that I, I like to try to look at the most. Um, because a lot of people will purchase a sealed product for the chase, uh, potential chase value. So um, we'll see that. Obviously this is the worst. You've spent $173 and you can, if you pull the Jesse and James, you can get it graded and it could be worth 70 bucks. So uh, very bad ratio there, seven points, so uh, probably stay away from Hidden Fates, in my opinion. Next up, we have Champion's Path, uh, second most expensive box uh, in here. Got two points off of that, but the Charizard, um, you can see the ratio here is 2.72 times the ETB price is the PSA 10 price of that Charizard, so that's starting to do a little bit better, um, but overall, you know, you're still at seven points, um, so probably avoid that if i had to pick on this set if i had to pick one um personally i'm gonna i'm gonna go with etbs but i think your hundred dollars could be uh better spent elsewhere on this list so that is that's just kind of showing like what's out there and um hopefully help you guys determine and see i'm very visual so I like seeing the color coded, I like seeing the numbers, I like seeing the percentages. Uh, it can help you maybe visualize kind of where things are at in a different way. So that's kind of why I uh, came up with this. But um, then we have Shining Fates. Very affordable box right now at 45 bucks. Uh, the chase card at 40 in a 10 Skyla. So um, this is kind of one of those ones where it does rank better on the point scale at 11. But just because both of these prices are so low... Um, Personally, it's one of those another one of those that I would just kind of avoid altogether. Um, I think it's a little bit of a false. This is a little bit of a false indicator here, and I would just probably stay away from the set as a whole personally. Um, but if I had to pick one, it would be the ETBs uh, because I think the set is weak. So um, even on a weak set, you can have um, an expensive price. So for the sealed box, so. That's where I would go. And then we have Celebrations. This came out in 2021, um, October of 2021. And this is where it starts to get uh, a little bit more interesting from here on out. You can pick these ETBs up for 84 bucks right now. A lot of people said that Celebrations was kind of a weaker set. And I kind of agree because of the stamps that they put on the, you know, on the cards. But um, Charizard reprint power is a thing, so... There's been so many of these cards graded, by the way. I think the pop count is over 19,000, which is insane. Um, but yeah, so ETB's at 84, PSA 10 Charizard's at 170. That's like a two to, you know, 200% increase there. And that puts the point total at eight. Now, this would be the first one that if you want to invest in this, um, I would go with ETB's as well. Um, but we're starting to get a lot closer um, for the chase card there um i think because of the number of these that are graded is i would wait just for these to continue to drop uh, with the high pop that they're going to continue to drop over time 
Um, so yeah, I would let, let that happen and then pick up because I, I think these are going to continue to drop, but if you want, if you're wanting to get into celebrations, I think you go ETBs as well. Um, next up is another weak set. Um, a lot of people don't like Pokemon Go. Um, and you know, it is a weaker set. You can see the ETB price is the cheapest we've seen so far at 43 bucks. And it makes sense because it's just not that good. Um, as of TCG player, the, uh, most valuable card was the rainbow Mewtwo. You can pick that up for 70 and a 10. Um, for me, at this price, personally, I think I'm, I'm in 1.6 times. So, I think this might be the first set where I could get a box for 43, or I could get the chase card in a 10 for 70. I'm gonna get the Mewtwo in a 10, personally, if I had to pick between the two. But this is one of those uh, where this is this affordable. Is I would get both if you could get the Mewtwo and get a box or more boxes, right? But um, these are just too affordable. Not the best sets, but um, the uh, point total, if we're going to give that any value. So this is what's kind of interesting is like, do, do these points mean anything for long-term collectability or investability? Um, this is saying that this is highly investable um, if you're going off of this point total. Um, I do think that moving forward with this chart, maybe I'll add a few more other things to better balance the points. But as of this chart, this is tied for one of the most investable um, sets so really good price entries so uh, maybe if they're even weaker sets like like we've seen can have expensive boxes so um, I'd, I'd lean heavier towards the box but um, I'd also try and pick up a Mewtwo then we have Crown Zenith which is arguably one of the best sets we've ever gotten um, to be completely honest and ETBs are still very, very, very affordable. 48 bucks. Um, yeah, honestly, it's kind of a no brainer for boxes. Hands down boxes, 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 boxes. This is too good of a set. Look at this ratio right now. Um, $48 to 200 for the Giratina in a 10 beautiful Giratina, by the way. Um, I do not have that Giratina yet. It is on my list, but I, and waiting for the the Giratina 10 price to continue to drop and I mean that's kind of what we've been seeing so I would be loading up on uh, ETBs there we just came off of Prime Dale uh, Prime Dale Prime Day and Best Buy had some crazy um, Crown Zenith sales so um, yeah I loaded up a little bit on those for uh, ETBs personally but yeah that's where the the chart this is scoring an 11 which is very high second highest score um, and i think that is justified you can see um, boxes all day but uh if you want to pc the giratina um you know then that's kind of where that's at for me but for re uh resale long-term uh investability boxes all day long then we have pokemon 151 uh which is you know kind of on the heels of some reprint or restocking news um, so this box price could be coming down, um, in the near future, um, by the end of the year, I don't know, uh, we'll see, but, uh, right now the Charizard is like 340 bucks in the 10, which this is the second highest ratio here from the box price to the PSA 10 price. So very expensive. I'd probably not pick up the Charizard and I'd be picking up ETBs personally. Um, you see that ratio is pretty good. Um, five times over five times um the point total it's it's in double digits so it's super solid obviously 151 is kind of one of those sets that um it just has this aura of it just carries itself we've seen how much they've reprinted uh japanese it's it's brought so many people back into the hobby 151 is a beast in and of itself so um long term especially long term you're not going to go wrong with 151 in any way shape or form but like if a lot more charizards come out into the market like this this price is going to continue to go down in a 10 so i'd be picking up etbs um all day long then the latest set that we can talk about um because we're on the heels of shrouded fable but they did push back the etbs and even if it was out we couldn't it'd be too early to justify any of these numbers but this is very interesting Paldean Fates is doing really well, very, very well, honestly, especially if you start to look at 
the single prices, Paldean Fates is showing a lot of strength. And you can be picking up these ETBs for 42 bucks right now. Um, also, caveat, just want to say real quick, you can probably find these ETBs cheaper other places as well. So it doesn't have to be TCG player. There's, you know, eBay, TikTok, um, LGSs, right? You can find, you know, if you can, you can get this price even lower, that's even better, right? Now, I do love the Charizard from this set, uh, the chase card, and currently it's going for around 225 on e eBay in a 10. Notice lots of Charizard on these specialty sets. <laughs> they really love to go to Charizard. Um, but anyways, so I think that um, this one's kind of a no-brainer as well because, like, look at this ratio. Um, I'm getting ETBs all day long. Um, this has the highest investability score if we're going off of our point total tied with Pokemon Go. Um, like I said, I don't think that this is a perfect chart because I do think that Pokemon Go is sort of an outlier. Um and you can see why it's scoring well because of the low prices. Um, and I think that, you know, this is a false 12 and this is a true 12. Uh, just because these prices are, um, sometimes if something's too low for too long, it's because it's not good, right? So um, maybe I need to include um, overall like set strength and uh, stuff like that moving forward. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that that would be beneficial. I think one or two more point categories could probably help um, even these out and weed out those like false positives and false negatives um, in my opinion but when you start to look at this um, like Paldean Fates doing better than 151 on this chart um, it really really says a lot about the set it's I mean you got the Charizard the Gardevoir all the shinies like it's really really doing well for a specialty set so um, I think that this this is the one that shines the most, albeit keep in mind, look at this release date. Um, as of this recording, we just hit August, so it's been, you know, seven months. So a um, lot of time still left on a set like this, but initial, like, looking at it after six, seven months out, it's looking really good. Um, Paldean and Fates looking super solid. So, um, if I had to have a takeaway from this video, to be completely honest, it's that Paldean and Fates is going to be a great set from now till for a long time for investability and collectability. Super great specialty set. Uh, 151, right? Also amazing i don't think you can go wrong and then crown zenith like those are my top three and i don't think that the chart is lying with those ones in any way shape or form but great sets great chase cards and um yeah good investability um to <coughs> to finish this off though uh, i just want to touch on uh just a few things real quick i do think that usually as a rule booster boxes are always a better investment but um you know, ETBs and other um, sleeved boosters, um, the check lane blisters, the three packs, like there are tons of other great investment options out there. Um, so that's why I just kind of wanted to touch on the ETBs specifically in this video. But um, booster boxes are usually always generally the way to go. Um, but you can't always get booster boxes in these sets. And I do, um, I do think that there might be a shift coming uh, and I don't know when it's going to take place, but w what I'm talking about is booster bundles. Something about seeing the booster bundles with 151 and just kind of what they've been doing. I really think that uh, long-term booster bundles might be looked at kind of more like booster boxes, especially the displays, the booster bundle displays. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Happy to admit if I'm wrong, but... Um, Something about that just is calling to me. Um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, just wanted to touch on. So that was ETB prices to PSA 10 chase card price correlation. Made that little graph. Let me know what you guys think. If it was helpful, beneficial. If you think it was a waste of time, let me know in the comments below. If you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. I've been making daily videos every single day. Uh, usually long form, sometimes short form, sometimes two videos a day. Um, so I would greatly appreciate the support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, 